All right, you guys. All right, you guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about vibrato. Needless to say, vibrato is a term like every other musical term that comes from a Latin word, and then that Latin word is put in music in another Italian, you know, an Italian nuance they put onto it. So um, vibrato in the Italian language. Basically, it's meaning vibrations. Now, um, when you think about the Latin root word that it comes from, that means quivering. Now, vibrato itself, when you see it on the music, or when you're playing it in real life, what you want to do is you want to make the sound vibrate. Now, it's kind of hard to explain it, and I don't really want to use words, because music is not about really words. The terminology, like vibrato, is important, but no one's really going to know what's on the paper. They're going to know what they hear. Music is all about sound, right? So, if I were to write this down, because I saw somebody draw this out for me once, and um, it made the world a difference. Now, all right, the regular sound the regular tone. So basically that's a straight line. So um, this is your regular note. Right? Okay, so this is your regular note. I'm human so it's not necessarily a straight, but you get the idea. It's not a straight line. You know. You know. You already know. But when you're doing vibrato, When you're doing vibrato, this straight line now becomes this. Unlike any other graph, what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything's consistent. You don't want to have this. That it depends on what you're doing. Now, vibrato is best played when you're coming to the end of the note. You don't want to do vibrato throughout the entire note because that's terrible. So, I'll give you some examples with my soprano saxophone how to do vibrato. Now when we do vibrato, which, what we really want to do is we want to focus on having a solid note first. So. That was us here. It's not a straight line. It's never going to be a straight line. So don't comment about straight lines. So the solid note. Now vibrato. was kind of consistent at the beginning. I could have did better, but that's the basic gist of it. Now, what you want to do when you do a vibrato is you want to make sure that if you're going up, the vibrato matches that. So when I say up, going up, you're dynamically putting a forte on your music. So for instance, Like that. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Vibrato is not such a hard technique. Now, then again, I don't really know if you can do it with a trombone or a trumpet or any other brass instrument, but I do know you can do it with a saxophone. Now, I've heard it done with various other instruments. I know, but I don't speak for a lot of brass instruments because I don't play brass instruments. So, with that being said, when you have a reed based instrument like the saxophone, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're making the reed do the action that you're saying. Back to the board. 
when you that's the bad my brother we don't want to see that again <laughs> you're basically making the note the way you want it to you're embellishing the tone so basically take vibrato and you're first starting here you're making the reed make this noise making this embellishment of the tone in theory when you're tuning when you put more of your mouth on the mouthpiece it affects your tuning when you put less of your mouth on the mouthpiece it affects your tuning now, if you have your mouth all the way on the mouthpiece, that makes the reed vibrate a lot more. Less of your mouth on the mouthpiece, that controls the reed a little bit more. And your tuning will happen variously. So, when you have this, what you want to do is you want to close and open the space between your mouthpiece your reed in a continuous motion and that's vibrato so basically you're opening your chin and closing your chin very slightly and the pressure from your bottom lip and your bottom pretty much all of this down here your chin all your your lower lower mouth yeah your lower mouth it will control it so you won't be able to see it necessarily when somebody's playing it but it's all in the armature. And that's the way you put your mouth on the horn to achieve a desired sound. Now note it. When vibrato is done, it doesn't always have to be static like this. And when I say static, what I mean is it's not moving much. Now depending on how you want to do it, you can do it a various amounts of ways. But don't just keep doing it. Don't wear down the effect because it's not effective. Now you can start here and then you can sort of, you know, embellish the tone. And then when you start to get to the end of the note, you can embellish the tone even more. You see? But you really do want to establish the note first and then start to embellish the tone. Because that not only gives you a f the personification effect, making a note feel like it's real but it also tells you when the person is about to let go of that note for instance that was a little bit of vibrato but still you can kind of gauge when my note is going to end and it makes the consistency of your music that much more consistent when people can sort of get into the mind frame and the mindset of the player. So when you're doing your vibrato, you can put a little gliss down on there. Or you can you know you can fall out, you can do anything. Like Wendy Marcella said, when you play your music, you wanna play with all the shouts, the growls, and the cries, and this vibrato builds. It's a building technique. And this building technique can also go with circular breathing. Another previous technique that I've already shown you guys. So if you're already circular breathing, that you can put your dynamics in there you can put your fortes and your pianos and your mezzo pianos and I love some music some uh, excuse me I love music so much that I'm yelling at the camera right now and really guys just just make it your own you can put anything in this vibrato you can do anything and it, it makes it takes your skill level from here to here just how you treat the note so this is them with vibrato let me erase this and this and this. So when you're doing your music, I want you to start using vibrato. I want you to start using the circular breathing technique because this will all help you in the long run. Now this is Devin signing off for Project Saxon. I hope this helps. And I look forward to hearing you play.